What is a paragraph? A paragraph is much more than a collection of connected sentences. It is a building block of essay development, and paragraphs provide the structure needed to develop the thesis of a paper. In fact, a useful way to think about a paragraph is as a mini-essay, or an essay within an essay, with its own mini-thesis, the topic sentence, middle or body, the supporting details, and end or conclusion, the concluding sentence. To understand how paragraphs help to develop a thesis, think of them as landmarks on a map. With each paragraph, you describe where you are standing and point the direction for your readers to make sure they complete the journey to your conclusion. A vague signpost or a detour down a side trail could well have your readers lost and wondering where you are taking them. Clear signals, on the other hand, in the form of clearly warded topic sentences, relevant support, reasonable interpretations of material, and logical conclusions will help your readers follow the development of your ideas. Types of paragraphs in a basic essay. In an essay, there are four types of paragraphs, introductory, body, transitional and concluding, and each serves a slightly different function in the paper. In the simplest terms, introductory paragraphs introduce your thesis, body paragraphs develop it, transitional paragraphs move your readers from one aspect of it to another, and concluding paragraphs sum up the development of the thesis and restate it. Thus, while all four types support the thesis, they support it in different ways. Introductory paragraphs an introductory paragraph supports the thesis in three ways. First, it engages readers' interest with a strong opening sentence. Some writing texts advise using a quotation or an anecdote to capture readers' attention, and this can work well. Whatever kind of opening you use, however, it should be relevant to your subject and move your readers quickly and smoothly toward your thesis. An introductory paragraph also supports the thesis by giving relevant background information and context, such as important facts or theory. For example, if you were writing an introduction to a paper about Napoleon's loss at Waterloo, before presenting your thesis statement, you might offer a sentence or two about the ongoing hostilities that led up to the final battle. This sketch of important background should be accomplished quickly with just enough information to help your readers understand why your subject and thesis are important. The third, and perhaps most important function of an introductory paragraph, is to introduce the thesis statement and thereby focus your readers on the central idea of your paper. Definitions of a thesis statement vary somewhat, but almost all instructors take a thesis to mean the central idea, opinion, assertion, claim or attitude of the paper. At the core of a thesis statement is the writer's controlling idea on the topic, e.g., unchecked northern development raises serious concerns. Some instructors understand a complete thesis statement also to include specific reasons in support of the controlling idea, e.g., unchecked northern development raises serious concerns because it jeopardizes and contaminates the biospheres, depletes energy resources before alternatives are available, and magnifies social problems. Some instructors also think of the thesis as the answer to a question implied by the assignment. Although some methods of topic development place the thesis near the end of the paper or even in the conclusion, in most academic writing, it appears near the end of the introductory paragraph. Placed there, the thesis provides a preview of the main idea you will develop in your essay and prepare your readers for that development.